Hello children, how are you all? Hello class 6 children, I welcome you in our English grammar class. And we are studying as you all know uh, direct and indirect speech. And we have discussed a lot of uh, rules and we have completed three exercise, exercise number A, B and C. And today we are going to start exercise number D which you can find on page number 120 and uh, this is in your Mastering Grammar book. So children, let's start our exercises. So rewrite the following sentences correctly using the correct pronouns given in the brackets to fill in the blanks that we are going to complete today. So children, let's start. Take out your pen and take out your pages also. So we just write it down once again or in a single page just write down one exercise because it is very important for you whenever you are revising the chapter then you will find the exercise in the proper manner. So just start. So this is exercise number D. First is Aditi said I am busy. Now Aditi said that what we are going to fill over here that she was busy. So we will write here in exercise number D and in number one this is she. Write it down children. Now next exercise is George said to Nita, you look ill. Now we are going to do. George told Nita that she or he, what we are going to choose. So here we are going to choose she. She looked ill. She looked ill. Now in number two, she again we are going to use. Now in third number, Harini said to Mohan, you can borrow the pen. Now here, Harini told Mohan that he or she could borrow the pen. So Harini said to Mohan, the Mohan here, you can see it's a male gender. So that is why we are supposed to use over here, he. So we are going to write. Third number, he. Harini told Mohan that he could borrow the pen. Now next, I said to Ali, we are waiting for you. Now in the indirect speech, I told Ali that we were waiting for him or her. Him. Yes, we are going to write over here, number four, him. So, uh, I told Ali that we were waiting for him. So, uh, we are on next page, that is uh, number five. He said to me, do not waste time. Now, in direct speech, he told me not to waste time. We are going to use over here, me. So in number five, me will be used. No. Now in number six, she, Sita said to Akshay, the novel is yours. Sita told Akshay, that the novel was dash his or hers. So here you can see Sita said to Akshay, Akshay over here a male gender. So that is why we are supposed to use over here his. So write it down his number six. We will write his. So Rita, Sita told Akshay that the novel was his. So 
children we have completed this exercise number d now we are moving to exercise number d now before uh, going to uh, complete this exercise number e we should know what we are going to change in exercise number e that rewrite the following sentences in indirect speech so we should write an indirect speech it is given in direct speech but one thing that is uh, uh, very important that is changes in possessive adjectives so possessive adjective like my you your her his these are all possessive adjective it's our change into possessive adjective of same person as that of a subject of the reporting verb suppose i said i have submitted my project so you, we will write i said that i have submitted my project my, my over here a possessive uh, adjective so i said that i had submitted my object so uh, this we just keep in mind uh, whenever we are solving this exercise so let's start solving the exercise exercise number exercise number we are going to solve e exercise number e we are going to solve so number 1 the doctor said i am satisfied with my performance now first is already done but here we should mentioned that the dancer said that she was satisfied with her performance now here we should always consider uh, possessive adjectives and we should change in, in a proper manner uh, so you said i have lost my bag you said that you have lost my bag so you will just uh, this type of the changes you will do in a, in our uh, possessive adjective so uh, what will remain same that we should know so in first number we have seen that the dancer said i am satisfied with my performance so uh, we have completed this the dancer said that he was satisfied with her performance so i uh, has changed over here with she so that we should always keep in our mind what we are going to do in these exercises so let's start doing number 2 exercise you said i have lost my bag so we will do number from number 2 2 we are going to do so you said you said that that you had you had lost lost your back you said that you had lost your bag so complete it now we are moving to number 3 number 3 we are going to write what is it number 3 number 3 is she said i have to find my way so here she said that she had to found her way that we are going to write over here so just to start writing she said that she had to found her way now for the stop will be placed so completed children now number 4 the lady trainer said my instruction are clear 
So here we are going to write the lady trainer said that her instruction were clear. So in number four, the lady instructor or trainer trainer said that her instruction instructions were clear so we have completed this exercise children you just note it down and complete the exercise the lady trainer said that her instruction were clear so write it down children or take a screenshot so after that we are going to complete next exercise which you can find on page number 122 this is exercise number f exercise number f we are going to complete number F exercise and this exercise what we are going to do change the following sentences into reported speech using appropriate words to denote time place and position that we have studied earlier so for example if it is written the doctor said to her meet me today so we have to write an in indirect speech the doctor told her to meet her that day so we should change the time place so this day began that day and uh, if it is written uh, yesterday so it will become previous day so these type of the changes we will do so Rita said to the teacher I submitted the work last week so if it is written last week so we will uh, do in the uh, indirect speech it will become previous week so let's start doing this exercise number F because we have to change in time and place and position also so let's start doing this exercise so Rita said to the teacher I submitted the work last week now here we are going to write this so just number one we are going to complete number one Rita told the teacher the teacher that she had submitted submitted her work her work that she had submitted her work the previous week so complete it Rita told the teacher that she had submitted her work the previous week now we will do second one now uh, Sohan told Raku I will come to your place next Tuesday so uh, next what we are going to uh, change over here that we will do 
So next will become following, following Tuesday it will be written. So let's start doing second number. Second number is Sohan told Raghu. Sohan told Raghu that that he would come to his place following Tuesday. following Tuesday. Sohan told Raghu that he would come to his place following Tuesday. So completed children and after that we will complete number 3. You just note it down or take a screenshot. So now number 3 is the magician said to the children I will show you new tricks tomorrow. So what we are going to do over here, the magician told the children that he would show them new tricks following day or next day. So let's start doing. Number three we are completing. So the magician, the magician told the children told the children that 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 we are going to do that he would he would show them new tricks next day next day so here what we have done that the musician told the children that he would show them new trick next day so uh, just uh, we are going to new tricks just write it over here s now we are going to complete fourth number rita said to her friend i felt sick yesterday so yesterday what we are going to use over here in indirect speech the day before or previous day so let's start doing this Rita said to her friend. So number four. Rita told her friend that that she she felt she felt she felt sick or she had felt sick sick previous day previous day so we have completed this number 4. Rita told her friend that she had felt sick previous day. So let's start doing or just note it down first and then we will solve number 5. Now next number uh, 5. Namita looked at the bat and said I look like this. 
So we are going to write in indirect speech. So what we are going to change? So Namita looked at the bed and told Namita number five Namita looked at the bed and said you can write that she liked that so completed children she liked that I hope it is clear now we are going to do number six number six we are going to complete that is number six is Mohit said to Meena I kept the books here Mohit said to Meena I kept the books here now here Mohit told Meena that he had kept the books there so we are going to write over here Mohit told Meena that he had he had just write it down he had kept the books there now number seven number seven is he said to his mother it is going to rain today so now we are going to do number seven he said or he told her cousin he told her his mother that now we are going to complete he told his mother his mother that it was going to rain that day he told his mother that it was going to rain that day so you just complete it number seven we have completed now we are going to do number eight number eight we are going to do we are going to complete number eight so what is number eight let's see she said to her cousin I will watch the match tonight so here we are going to write she told her cousin that she would watch the match that night tonight become that night so we are going to write over here she told her cousin that she would watch the match that night so tonight become that night now we have completed this exercise exercise number 
uh, F we have completed. Now we are going to complete the next exercise which you can find on page number 123 that is exercise number G. So rewrite the following sentences in reported speech. So here converting question into indirect speech. It means here we have to form the questions also. So we have already done this. I suppose if it is written, he said, what is your name? So now here he asks, what my name was? So that type of the question will be come in this exercise number G. So let's start solving this exercise. So we will start doing this exercise number G. Number one we are going to do. Rohan said to me, when did you arrive? So here Rohan asked me that when did I arrived? When did I arrived? So just complete it. Complete it children. Now next exercise we are going to do. Rita said to him, do you like chocolates? That one should we should always remember whenever it is started the questions with do, does, did. So we are just supposed to use if and whether. So let us start doing this. Rita inquired him. Rita inquired inquired him that if he liked he liked chocolate so if he liked chocolate now we are going to do number three Number three is, Ragni said to Monica, please open the windows. Now here imperative sentence. So what we are going to write? Ragni requested. Yes. Ragni requested. Ragni requested. Rita, sorry, Monica, Monica, so Ragni requested. Now here requested why we have used because this is imperative sentence. Now what we are going to do next, requested to open the windows to open the windows now next we are going to do number four number four is Sneha said to Rohan please bring my bag now again I requested so Sneha, Sneha requested, requested Rohan to, to bring her bag, her back. So this we have completed. Now we are going to do number 5. So what is number 5? 
नंबर फाइव इज गरिमा सेट टू मीना हैव यू पैक्ड योर थिंग्स नाउ अगेन क्वेश्चन आर देयर सो वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू राइट ओवर हेयर इफ इट इज हैव इज देयर देन वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू राइट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डू गरिमा गरिमा आस्कड आस्ट मीना दैट हैड शी पैक्ट हैड शी पैक्ट हर थिंग्स so completed children we have completed this uh number 6th uh number 5th we have completed and number 6 7 8 we will do tomorrow and the next exercise number h and i we will complete tomorrow so till then children bye bye and take care and complete these exercises and learn the rules also because without this we cannot solve the exercises So till then bye bye and take care